Hundreds of mystery structures have been found at the heart of our Milky Way galaxy. An investigation to the mystery filaments hanging in space around the heart of the Milky Way has turned up an entirely new population of them aligned along the galactic plane and pointing in the direction of the galactic center for some reason. The magnetized strands are likely the remnants of an outflow from the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A interacting with the surrounding gas a few million years ago, says astrophysicist Farad Youssef Zadeh of Northwestern University. Although Sagittarius A is pretty quiet now, these remains, the remnants suggest that our galaxy center has been active recently on cosmic time scales, that is, and their discovery also means that our galaxy center, as wild and woolly as we already know, knew it to be, has more fascinating secrets lurking within it. It was a surprise to study the suddenly find a new population of structures that seem to be pointing in the direction of the black hole, Yusef Zadeh says. He says, I was actually stunned when I saw these. We had to do a lot of work to establish that we were not fooling ourselves, and we found that these filaments are not random, but appear to be tied to the outflow of our black hole. By studying them, we could learn more about the black hole spin and accretion disk orientation. It's satisfying when one finds order in the middle of a chaotic field of the nucleus of our galaxy. Filaments floating about the galactic center are not a novel finding. In fact, Yusuf Zadeh with two of his colleagues discovered them in the 1980s around 1,000 long vertical magnetic structures up to around 150 light years in length and hanging in surprisingly orderly arrangements like harp strings. These could be the result of winds gusting from an active supermassive black hole or turbulence in the intergalactic medium stirred up by the motion of galaxies. The new population was discovered in data collected by the Meerkat Radio Telescope of South Africa. Yusuf Sade and his team were cleaning up the data, removing the background to make a, the vertical filaments more visible, when something else emerged. That something was a new population of galactic harp strings. He says, we have always been thinking about vertical filaments and their origin. I'm using them to be, uh, I'm used to them being vertical. I never considered there might be others along the plane. And the discovery is something else entirely compared to the vertical ones. The new structures are more like dashes and lines, short, hundreds of structures around five to 10 light years in length and laying horizontally along the galactic plane rather than vertically like the other filaments. Although all of the structures are magnetized, the vertical ones accelerate particles to near light speed, while the newly discovered horizontal ones appear to emit thermal radiation. There's also radially, uh, radially arranged just on one side of the galactic center, pointing back to Sagittarius A, compared to the parallel arrangements of the vertical ones arrayed all around the galactic center. And this radial arrangement also seems linked to the, or the orientation of Sagittarius A, and it seems to point not just at the black hole, but at a radial outflow driven by the astrophysical jets that erupt from around a black hole when it is actively accreting material. One of the most important implications of radial outflow that we have detected is the orientation of the accretion disk and the jet-driven outflow from Sagittarius A along the galactic plane, he said. Active for a supermassive black hole means that material is falling or accreting into it from a huge disk of material that swirls around it like water around a drain, but not all the material ends up beyond the black hole's event horizon. Some of it is diverted and accelerated along magnetic field lines to the black hole's poles, where it is launched into space at high speeds in the form of an astrophysical jet. There are other signs Sagittarius A fired up its jets in the relatively recent past, such as giant bubbles that extend vast distances above and below galactic plane. The radial dashes, according to Yusef Zadeh and his colleagues, could be the result of ram pressure produced by a jet-driven outflow from Sagittarius A, an analysis of their extent and position suggests that this took place around 
only six million years ago. We think they must have originated with some kind of outflow from an activity that happened a few million years ago, Yusuf Sadr says, and it seems to be the result of an interaction of what outflowed material with objects near it, given new structures seem to be emerging as we build and refine the technology to detect them, we're far from knowing the complete history and dynamics of the center of our Milky Way. Our work is never complete, Yusuf Sadis says. We always need to make new observations and continually challenge our ideas and tighten up our analysis. The research was published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, and this is on Science Alert by Michelle Starr. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. To support my Patreon account, the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.